What's up guys, Mike here from Typedesk and I'm super excited to show you a great feature on Typedesk that will unlock endless possibilities for using Typedesk with other apps and websites. Uh, it's a quite a new feature that uh, we introduced in the latest versions of Typedesk. It's in preview right now, so you can try it uh, as of today in Typedesk. Uh, and it's available in the desktop version. Uh, so this is called webhooks. If you don't know what webhooks are, they're essentially a way to connect apps together through uh, online calls, through online uh, scripting. And they are great um, uh, platforms to use webhooks uh, like Zapier or Make or um, Pabby. There's a lot out there. Um, so today I want to demonstrate how you can use webhooks to take your templates and responses to the next level. Uh, in our example, um, I want to send an email to someone arriving in our team, like a new uh, recruit who's been hired in the, in the team. Uh, so my email is going to congratulate them for um, making the tests, passing the tests and uh, joining the team. And I'm going to use the webhooks to actually uh, be able to send an email out uh, at the same time to the HR main manager um, to create the accounts in our system. Uh, and also I want to create a Notion card. Um, so I have a database of all the recruits um, in Notion. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. It's going to be a little technical. So bear with me. You can go back if you're not sure about something. Uh, we're going to have also written um, description and uh, instructions on, on how to do that. Um, but let's dive in. Uh, all right, so the first uh, thing you need to do to get started with webhook, webhooks is to create a template. So let's add a template from scratch. It's going to be a uh, welcome recruit workflow. So this is the name of my template. So I'm going to go hello and then use a text field for the first name. Happy to report you have been like past the test. And uh, the team can't wait to welcome you. Just to confirm, your email will be, and then I'm going to use another variable for the email address. Excited to uh, uh, welcome you. All right, so I'm happy with my template there. Um, so I have a couple of variables. The first one is the first name and then the email address that we want to assign to that person. Um, so great, happy with that. Now, uh, the way to um, use workflows is to go into the integration section and then enable webhook, okay? So you can see Typedesk is asking for a webhook URL. The URL is gonna be the uh, address where Typedesk is going to send out the data that you've just generated when you use the template uh, in order to do something with the data. So um, to do that, I'm going to use make.com, uh, which is one platform. You can use another platform, but we already use this one uh, for some of our workflows. So make.com is a great candidate for that. I'll create a new scenario, which, is, which will be called new candidate. The first step of our scenario is to actually get the data uh, from the webhook. So we're going to create a webhook. If you look for a webhook, the first one coming up is the actual webhook. And it's going to be a custom webhook, which triggers when webhook receives data. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to create a new webhook. I don't have a hook for now um, at the moment, so I need to create a new one. So I'm going to add a webhook and it's going to be new candidate. You can really name this whatever you'd like let's save this and make is actually uh, adding creating a url that you can use as a webhook so let's copy that and then in the webhook url paste this into um into the box there i'm all set i have my template ready i have my webhook url so i'm going to save this you can see it's been saved we're good to go so actually the first step to get started with the webhook is to trigger the webhook the first time so what we're going to do is use Typedesk to trigger the webhook. So I'm going to press uh, quick access, Alt-C on Mac, Option-C on Windows. I'm going to look for my recruit workflow. That's it. Welcome. So I'm going to welcome Anna 
and the email address that we're going to set up for Anna is Anna at typedesk.com. As soon as I save that, you can see that uh, Make is uh, catching all the data successfully determined, which means that we're ready to move on. Uh, now Make has all the data available to work with the data that we send. So I'm going to press OK. The first thing I want to do is uh, send an email uh, to someone on my, on my team uh, to make sure that they know Anna is arriving. So let's add another module. Let's look for email. First one is there, email. And then what I want to do is send an email. Great. So the first thing you'll have to do, at least with Make, is to set up a connection to your email. I'm not going to go over that because it's 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 accessory. I mean, you'll have to do it, but it's quite easy and it's explained in their help section. Uh, but my connection is now ready. So I'm just like, I have linked together Make and my email address. And what I'm going to do now is send out an email when we receive a payload. So the email is going to be to um, someone on my team. I actually have their address here. So it's just a temporary mail. I'm going to copy paste that email address. So the email is going out to that uh, person. Uh, the subject is going to be new hire. And you can see that in the payload received uh, by make, I have one called variables. So each time you have a variable in your template, which would be those two variables, they'll be added to the payload. And there's going to be uh, the title, which is the name of the variable, first name. Uh, and then the answer, which is what you actually type in the box when you use that template. So in order to use the first name value, which would be Anna here, when I use uh, when I type in Anna, um, there's a, a little tweak there. Uh, I'm going to put it in the description in the article. Um, but what you have to do is first select the first function and then go to map. Uh, I'm not going to explain into greater details how this works because it depends on the platform. But if you use make, this is how you can actually get the value of the first name. And so we're going to map variables. And then we need the key that's called answer. And we're going to filter on uh, the key that's title. And we need first name. So this is the tricky part. I mean, it, it takes a little bit to get used to that, but essentially what you have to remember is this bit here just allows you to get the first name from the payload that we send uh, to uh, make. So that's the subject of my email and it should say new hire Anna. And then uh, in the body of the email, hey there, and then you can use HTML there. We're about to onboard someone on our team named and then I'm going to take the same formula here to get the uh, name of the person okay so let's say I'm happy with that uh, I'm going to save this okay great all right so the next step is to add a notion connection I want to add um, that new person into a database that contains the name and the email address. Let's do that together. We'll add a module into our webhook connection. It's going to be a Notion module. You can search here if it's not there already. And then I want to create a database item. Here on the top, you have to select a connection to Notion. Just like with your email before, you have to link together Make and Notion in order to be able to perform operations on your database. I've already uh, done that, uh, so I don't have to do it again, but you might have to add a new connection. Then uh, Make is going to prompt you to enter a database ID, select from the list. So let's try to find that. It's called database. Let's see if we can find something. Great, it's found my database and you can see that it's automatically matching the person name and the email address in the field. So what we're gonna do there, same as before, for the person name, which is the first name, we're gonna use a formula, which is again, uh, first of map, and I'm gonna map the variables 
the field I uh, need is uh, answer. Remember, in the variables, you always have the, the title, which is the name of the variable, and the answer, which is what you actually type in. So I'm going to use the answer, and I'm going to search for uh, the uh, title, and the name of the variable is first name. Okay, looks good. So the first mapping variables, I need the answer, and I'm going to match the title of first name. Great, so that's what I want. And same thing for the email address, except I'm going to match the email address. All right, quite happy there. So uh, in a nutshell, what it's going to do there, once you send out, once you use the template, it's going to send out a webhook that's going to generate an email to someone on my team and at the same time add a database item in my Notion. All right, let's give that a shot. So we'll save the changes, enable the scenario, save this. Let's try this together. Let's find the recruit workflow. First name is Anna. So it's going to say hello, Anna. And the email that we want to uh, associate with Anna is Anna at typedesk.com. You can see that right away make is uh, getting the payload and uh, processing the data. So if I go into my database, you should see that the person name and the email address have been added. Let's go check out our email. I have a new email from my email, new hire Anna. And you can see that uh, uh, the content of the email is filled in automatically. So there you go. This is uh, one example of what you can do with the webhooks, workflows and type desk. Um, there's a lot more you can do. If you go back into uh, make here, you can see that I could add another module here and they have a lot of modules. They have hundreds of connections. So it really opens up Typedesk to a, a whole another uh, set of apps and websites. So feel free to play with that new feature. It's in preview right now, so you can use it as much as you want. And um, we're happy to hear your use cases and you know learn more about what you're what you're gonna do with uh, TypeDesk workflows. Hope you like it, and uh, feel free to leave us an email on the website if you have any question about that. Bye bye.